Alrighty guys, so we're back in our catalog, and if you guys finished the previous exercise or if you download the catalog file, you're going to see something similar to this. Well, exactly, if you've downloaded the catalog. But what we have in the catalog is now our photos, our 45 photos have been rated. So either they are marked with flags for keepers or X's for rejects. And we have a total of 16 flagged photos. And I'm going to turn off that and turn on my uh, reject filter. We have 29 rejects. And there should be none left in the unflagged. So if I select unflagged, you won't see anything. All right, so let's move on to collections. Now, what exactly are collections? Well, the best way to describe a collection is almost like, uh, it's kind of like a catalog within a catalog in a, in a way. It's basically a group of photos inside of your catalog, which is another group of photos. But it's a, it's a great way for basically placing photos in a certain in a certain organized spot so that you can perform a variety of tasks. These photos can be brought into uh, the slideshow, into creating contact sheets in the print module. They can also be used in the web module. They can also be used to categorize your your images into certain tasks. Like let's say uh, maybe one of your editors gives you a job that you need to do a rush order on these or a, a, a rush editing job on these prints. Well you can group like say those 10 images that you need to rush to them and put it into a collection so that you know the these are the images that I need to rush for my editor. So these collections can be basically selected anytime you need them. You can create as many collections as you need. There's a few things to note about collections. Collections are groups of photos within the catalogs, but they're not independent of the catalog, meaning when you export these, those collection hierarchies and whatever you create over in this collection panel isn't going to be exported along with it. Photos can also belong to more than one collection, like these 10 that we select for our rush job. They can belong to that rush job for the editor. They can also belong to another collection, maybe for uh, bag photos, whatever we want. One important thing to know is that you can change the sort order of photos in a regular collect collection, but not a smart collection, because smart collections are actually uh, collecting these photos into a, a smart collection based on certain rules. You can't change the sort order of how it chooses those photos, but you can in a regular collection. Uh, another thing to know is that removing images from a collection does not actually remove them from the catalog or trash the photo. So don't worry about, like, if you take a photo out of a, out of, out of a collection, it's not actually gone. Now we can also set up collection sets, and basically collection sets are sets of sub-collections. So right here you see a smart collection set, and each item underneath this is its own collection. It's just another way of creating hierarchies and organizing your collection so that they're easier to manage and easier to see. Lastly, in the slideshow, print, and web modules, you can also create specific collections called output creations, and we'll discuss those when we get to those modules. Alright, so let's move on to the next video. We're going to talk about creating quick collections as well as regular collections.